Okay, today we are going to have a look at how to place road signs and poles. So in this case I have created a very simple intersection. I have a primary road with a speed limit of 50 km per hour and I have a secondary road with a speed limit of 30 km per hour. So when we place the road signs and poles, we al always place the signs and poles so they will be placed in the direction of the driver so in this case we have traffic going into the secondary road so in this case we need to rotate the sign and, and the pole whereas these signs and the poles will be read by traffic going from the secondary road and then into the primary road but to get started we need to open the cell library, we need to go to cells select file and attach file and if you look in the std folder and go to cell we have the library located right here so just select it and click on open And in this case, we can see that we have some different poles that we can use and some different signs as well. And just in the case that you are not able to view the signs correctly, then next to display, if you select smooth shading, then you should be able to view the signs correctly. But in this case I want to start by attaching the first pole that I have right here. So I will just select it and then I need to right click and select place. And in this case I have set the scale to 4 for the X and the Y. But in this case I need to rotate the sign so I need to type in, in this case it's 200 gones and then I'm able to place the sign, I'll just place it out here and then right click to finish and to place the sign I need to select the sign called C55 so I'll just scroll down and I have the sign right here and again just right click select place and I want to keep the scale of 4 and also I want to keep the angle so I will just place it on the drawing and then right click to finish and in this case I want to modify the speed class so I just want to edit the text click right here and then click on the small lines and then you're able to type in the speed class and then click somewhere outside of the text box and now we have the speed class on the sign I also want to have a bit of text just to indicate or describe the name of the sign just C55 and just place it on the drawing and then close the text box and then last I will add a small line to connect the post to the sign and right click to finish. On the other side I want to add a post which is able to have two signs so in this case I need to go back to the top and I have a post with double signs so I just need to right click and place and again I will keep the scale but in this case the angle should be zero gones and now I'm able to place the sign which I'll just place right here right click to finish I will select the sign called B11 right click and place again have the zero gones and also the scale and I will just place it next to the pole right click to finish and then select the sign called 
C56, right click, place, and just place it below the other sign. And again, in this case, we want to modify the speed class, so we want to select edit text and click on the small lines, type in 30, and now we have the speed class and again just add the small lines connecting the pole to the to the sign the next thing we want to do is to make sure that we have the signs the poles and also the lines located in the correct layer and the correct level so first I will select all of the signs and in this case I'm just holding down control and we need to find the layer for the signs and the signs is located in the layer called TVU SKL and then Taule. So I'll just click here. The next next one is the poles. So I will just select the poles and again just scroll down to find the poles which is located in the layer called TVU SKL and then Sten. Just click on it. And just last I want to add the small line and place it in the correct layer. But this is the principle of how you add the different road signs and poles using the cell library.